Okay, so we're gonna do a back titration here. So now here's my acid and it's a hydrochloric acid. I don't know the concentration of it. So I conditioned my burette. Uh, I've written down the point that I'm starting at and I put a phenylphthalein indicator in my Erlenmeyer. And I'm just gonna add um, a certain amount of acid and probably over 10 mils, okay? Um, and if I look up here, I have that, hey, look, this is right at 11 point, you know, it's hard to read that, probably 11.30 milliliters. Here's my base, okay? So I've got my base set up. I've added my acid. I've got it. I know the exact volume of acid, but I don't know the concentration. This is my standardized base. And again, you can see where I'm starting at. And I'm just going to add base until it reacts with the acid. So let's go ahead and do that. And you can see that it's going, going, going. And the problem is because I'm doing this with one hand, I'm probably gonna really overshoot my endpoint. Okay. So let's stop and see what happens here. Oh, we're getting close. Okay, so I'm just gonna try and go through this in a couple of drops and let's see how we're doing. Oh, close. So we're getting there. And almost there. Okay, now I went way past the end point. That's okay, because now I can go back here and I can add a little bit of the, the acid, okay? I'm gonna go really slow. Oh. So I'm just gonna do a drop or two. And that's clear. Go back to my base. And now I'm gonna have like one drop. So I'm probably right at that neutralization point. So now that's a light pink. I look up here. I get my volume. That's my volume of base. This is my volume of acid, okay? This is the base that I have the molarity and the volume of, and I can now find the concentration of my acid.